Hello and welcome back. Okay, so today what I'm going to be showing you is basically some real quick editing tools in Lightroom on how you're able to brighten your photos, lighten your photos, and working with shadows. And also I'm going to show you how to necessarily save and export your photos to another file. So, open up Lightroom and you're already supposed to be in library. So, there you go. And then we're in library. So, basically we import a photo. And like I said, I've still got a USB sitting in right now. So I'm going to unclick all of those and I'm just going to go to camera work. All right, I'm just going to bring up some vacation photos and I'm going to use some good ones that I was able to use. Um, this one will work just fine. So, I've just opened a file and I brought it open. So with this, you're able to actually zoom in, like I said. So, with that, as you can see, this is a very raw image. So, a lot of stuff is not exactly the way that we want it to be. So, what we can do is we can bring down the exposure a little bit. Uh, that's a lot. So, bring it down just a little bit. Bring up the contrast just a tad more. Highlights, you're able to basically highlight uh, bits and pieces, bringing out more of the color and other bits and pieces. Basically, this light area, I'm able to make really light. So if I were to like, you know, double click on it, triple click on it, it's just gonna get brighter up here. So I'm going to basically push reset on all of that. There we go, back to the original. Gonna bring up a contrast a little bit. Uh, for shadows and whites, blacks. Um, I can turn down the whites. Nope, I'm gonna bring up the whites a little bit. There we go. And for the blacks, it's very weird because when you push down, it'll make it darker. If you push up, it'll make it lighter. And I'm not too sure exactly why it's backwards, but I'm going to go with it. So you can turn it darker, just like that. Bring out the blacks a lot more. Or bring, or make it a lot lighter. There we go. And then white, same thing. This actually, it is weird because you're actually able to make the white darker if you're going left, but if you're going right, it'll make whites brighter. All right, what Clarity does is it basically sharpens everything around. So if you click it, it will go darker on a slow degree, but however, what it's actually doing is it is making your photo a lot more sharp. See, as you can see, it's very sharp now. And it has darkened a little bit. Vibrance, straightforward. Bringing out more vibrance in your colors. And you're taking away vibrance. You're actually able to, like, decolor this, too, using your vibrance. So if you decolor it a few times, you can still see a little bit of the green, a little bit of the pink, but everything else has started to slowly turn just to black and white. And you can eventually, if you click it vibrant down enough, it should generally go black and white, but this is the lowest setting that we can go for taking away the absence of color. And I know I missed it, so I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, shadows, you're able to lighten your shadows and you're able to darken your shadows. All right, so what I'm gonna do for you is I'm actually just going to show this. Um, what I'm gonna do is you can do several different types of white balances, like you can auto correct the white balance and you can just use as shot, no big deal. Um, you're able to save the present as what you want it to be but then there's also quite a few numbers of ways that you can actually just use uh, Lightroom to auto edit your f auto edit everything. So let's go Lightroom black and white filters present. Let's go with a uh, green filter. There we go. Reset that. Uh, who 
wants it to be black and white? I don't really want it to be black and white. I want it to be more color. So we're going to keep it generally for color. Let's go for with uh, Lightroom effects. Uh, we can make it like really heavy gain, light gain, medium gain, uh, rounding the corners, black and white, um, vignetting. Let's vignette it one. All right. And then again, we're actually able to um, change that. No problems. Check out how heavy of a gain we can add. So as you can see, this is this is now a very very rough photo. So I'm actually going to take this off. Gain heavy. Take it right off. No, I don't. No, I don't want it. Take the gain off. All right, go reset. There we go. So that takes it completely right off. Okay. Uh, so with that, yeah, keywords. You don't really need this. It's just mainly for like suggestions of like um, tagging your photos and other things like that. Um, keyword list. And just basically looks for it for you. And this doesn't do very much other than displaying exactly like what you were using for your uh, photos, what exactly happened while you're taking the photo. Basically by tagging with your camera. You can also even make comments on this photo. Basically for digital use. Um, so with that all being said, like here I'm just going to edit it real quick. So we're going to turn the exposure down just a little bit, turn contrast up a bit, uh, turn up the highlights, we're going to turn up the shadows, so we're going we're to brighten it up a little. Uh, for whites we're going to tone it just a little bit, blacks we're going to bring it out just a tad, clarity we're going to bring this up, there we go. And vibrance. There you go. So this is what I original. This is everything that I want to do with this photo. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So we're gonna push export. I'm just gonna delete this. And what you can actually do in your exporting, and this is actually the only way that you're really able to save. However, you are able just to close Lightroom, and everything that you've done with the photo will be saved as long as it's still in your film strip, which is down in the bottom right along here but if you want to save it and then you want to like move it on towards like a CD or uh, towards getting printed off or if you're wanting to like throw it up on your Facebook or your Twitter anything like that you need to export it rather than saving it because saving it is just going to basically save it as a Lightroom file not an actual JPEG file so with that, um, you're able to rename your rename it to a custom name other than like image number 15, 26, whatever, and you're actually able to put it into certain files. See, here's the different types of files as long as you click to choose. Um, export to a specific file, choose a folder, uh, same original photo. There you go. Um, there's nothing with that. There we go. So we're just gonna name it as uh, Lily. Uh, Lily one. There you go. Dot JPEG. Uh, yep. So this isn't a video. Uh, there's no fi like file settings. Always have it set to JPEG because that just makes it really easy for like any type of uh, computer software whatsoever. Quality. You want to keep it at about 60%. Just because um, if you go up to higher percentages, you have a tendency of losing your quality of your photo. Um, yep. It's exactly what I wanted. And there's nothing else that really, I would say, don't even bother touching anything else unless you have a watermark, which and then you're able to, um, you're able to actually make make a watermark for it. So I'm going to take that off, just because I don't have a watermark. I make them in other files. Uh, post processing, nothing. It's all good. So push export. It will then show you in this top left hand corner that your task has been complete and that's basically it so from there you can go delete photo just go remove it's all good and there you are which and then whatever file you have decided to post your photo in it has been exported to that file so if you forgot where exactly your file is this is the thing about that so if you decided um, that you forgot exactly where it was you can't go back and just export. 
So really quickly, open a new uh, quick, just a quick photo for you. It doesn't really matter anything at all. Like take that off, make it that one, import it, and then push export. It'll bring you to exactly where you decided to post your last photo. That way you can find it easier and do whatever you feel with it. And that's all I've got for you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Steven. I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll have a lot more for you. Have a great day.